Hey guys, Ed here with the latest installment in our Johnny 5 build. As you can see, we have some catching up to do and he kind of sort of almost looks halfway done. Um, but looks can be deceiving because there's still a lot to do. <laughs> Today we'll be showing you guys how we made the upper and lower A-frames that articulate with the caster during the track tip motion, the cradle base, which is this lower box between the track drives and the caster, um, the track tip mechanism and some batteries are inside of that. And we got a good start on his lower torso. The upper A-frame is a sheet metal box assembly, upper and lower panels, plasma cut from stainless, and then crudely beat into shape caveman style using whatever I could find to get the job done. Sides, rough cut on the plasma from 8th inch aluminum and finished on our Tormach 1100M+. For those, I carefully hand drilled two quarter inch holes so I could use dowel pins to align the rough cut parts with a super glue sub plate. Then finishing up the upper A-frame with some sanding, this Renaissance wax to protect from fingerprints. Really helps out with the aluminum, especially just get those black fingerprints if you're not careful. These bearing cups, roughly the same as all the others you've seen us make up to this point. And then final assembly. Now onto the lower A-frame, which is a welded steel tube fabrication. First, bringing the pivot tube to length on the lathe. Then using a 5C block and this angle gauge to notch the side tubes in the 1100M+. Last up, the rear block needs to be drilled and notched. I used some scrap ground stock as split parallels for the drilling, um, otherwise I would run into regular parallels with the drill, and angle blocks to set the angle for notching. Unfortunately, our welding footage of this didn't turn out, uh, but we used this laser cut acrylic jig to hold the tubes in place while tacking, being sure to leave a wide margin between the quite flammable acrylic jig and the weld areas, uh, just to be extra safe, and finished it up with some basic cleanup and a lovely gray powder coat. Next up, the cradle base, which is just an aluminum sheet metal box. Again, roughed out the side panels on the plasma and used laser cut chipboard templates for safe clamp placement.
And final finishing with this NAM Power brush. I've really been liking this. Uh, on these panels especially, it gave a sort of a pseudo fly cut face milled look. For the top and bottom panels, I didn't bother plazing those out since they're rectangular in shape. So I'm reusing the unfinished fixture plates you saw us use on the giant Autodesk A for super glue fixturing. All of the panels for the cradle base and lower torso are held together with drilled and tapped angle iron, something like 20 pieces. So I took a sliver of inspiration from the way Edge Precision fixtures his work on his Mazak mill turn and made this fixture for the HRT 210 on our Haas TM3P. For the fixture, I used a piece of two inch aluminum round bar with a channel milled out for the angle to rest in and gang milled these small strap clamps to secure the stock to the fixture. Fusion, I laid out all of these different angle pieces so that clamp position was universal across the few different setups I had. This made for a really close clearance on a few of the drilled and tapped holes, but clearance as always is clearance. Clarence. Uh, we did end up having to make a quick and dirty extension for this 632 tap. So small that the welding ended up being the best option. I just had Jared TIG weld the little extension I made. Worked out great. It lasted the whole run and is still going strong on other odd jobs we've needed it for around the shop. And to finish up, the angles were belt sanded and tumbled to deburr and powder coated as well. Last up, his lower torso, which was refreshingly simple compared to some of the other sub-assemblies up to this point. Again, plies out the side panels from 8th inch aluminum and finished, this time on the 1100M Plus in two setups, using the dowel pin grid as reference for work coordinate system and expanding parallels against two dowel pins to easily roughly align the stock along the x-axis and picking up a dowel pin bore for the work coordinate system infusion.
Once the front half was finished, I was able to move the part and reference the cleaned up edges to the fixture plate to machine the rest of the part and had very little witness marks between the two setups. Also for the lower torso, we had to machine these three inner support pieces. I opted to slot them all out from a single piece of stock, first adapting away a few areas that might make for dangerous loose scrap stock, then slotting halfway down, flipping the part on a super glue fixture, slotting the remaining half depth, and finish contouring full depth. parallel to pick up that dangly end. Since these aren't blind holes, they The next installment will be focusing primarily on the tiptoe mechanism. I'll be making most of that, but I'm letting John make some of the more difficult parts on the UMC. Fingers crossed, we'll be able to get that working and see him go up on his tiptoes for the first time under his own power. This is the first tiptoe attempt of J5. Johnny Five will be alive. That's all for now. Hope you guys enjoyed. Johnny and I will see you next time. Too many words. <laughs> Starting to get some electrical motion stuff happening here. Um, how is it hot again in here? Uh, this is why I'm not wearing the lab coat. I would die. Are you happy, Chris? I have some form of badgification now, if not hand embroidered on the lab coat. This is just for you. We love you. Again, pointing with my hand rather than the pointer because uh, 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 mm, 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 mm. It's only six, but I still want to go to sleep. Upper and lower A arms. No, A frames. A arms are a different part of this robot. There's one of everything you can name in this thing. Today we'll be showing you guys how we made the upper and lower A frames. I don't like that noise. Ah! Uh, uh. <laughs> Please don't. No. Oh. The cradle base, which all of the. <laughs> and we can get some B roll for this for everyone's b-hole. Whatever we had around, whatever I could find to get this thing bent up. No, it's too much. 
Mm. And notch the side tube. No, oh, That's enough. That's all you're getting. Sorry. Mm.